My name is Dr. Charles Sophie. I am the medical director for the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services. I'm also in private practice and I'm also the on-call psychiatrist for Celebrity Rehab and Sober House. Drugs and alcohol affect the brain in many ways and in, in ways that most people really don't even understand. Basically, it changes the balance of the chemicals within your brain. And once those are changed or thrown off, then you will get mood changes, you'll get anxiety changes, you'll get behavioral changes. So in a simple way, it throws off the chemicals in your brain, which then have you feeling and behaving differently. The brain of an addict differs from a brain of a non-addict in many different ways, but again, simply put, it is a more of a genetic predisposition or it's almost genetically handed down to you and inherited, that addicted brain. And it is a way to soothe yourself and a pattern of behavior that your brain craves when it is emotionally unsettled. So when you're feeling nervous about something, the addict brain will seek out ways to soothe itself that are not helpful for the person like using drugs or alcohol versus the non-addict brain that will seek out ways to soothe itself when it's anxious or nervous by other ways that are not self-harmful.